From her fallout with the Kardashians to the unending relationship drama, controversial comments, and judgy finger-pointing, this former NBA star's ex keeps herself in the spotlight and the tabloids. Here's the shady truth about Larsa Pippen. For a long time after their 1997 wedding, Larsa and Scottie Pippen seemed like they were going to be one of those A-list couples that would make it last forever. In 2016, however, Scottie shocked the world when he filed for divorce from Larsa after 19 years of marriage. It seemed the end was inevitable for the pair, as cops had been called to the couple's home twice prior to the filing, according to TMZ. The first time around, the Pippins were engaged in a, quote, heated verbal argument, and in the second incident, Larsa admitted that Scottie Scotty, quote, raises his voice to her, yells at her, and scares her. According to the police report TMZ obtained, there were no arrests made in either case, and the tabloid pointed out that Larsa was adamant that her husband, quote, never got physical with her. Rumors of infidelity also began circulating following the divorce filing. People speculated that Larsa had an affair with rapper Future, since the pair had been spotted hanging out in Miami before news of the divorce broke. However, Larsa insisted she never cheated with the rapper. It's safe to say Larsa Pippen's relationship with a certain rapper didn't help her failing marriage. A source told Us Weekly that the Real Housewives of Miami star, quote, first met Future 32 at his Oat Living cover party in the summer of 2016, and the pair began spending a lot of time together, with Future, quote, flying her everywhere on his private jet. Though they were spotted together again after the rumors took off, Larsa insisted that she and Future had always been friends and that her marriage failed on its own accord. Larsa said in a since-deleted tweet, I was married to Scotty for 20 years. I did everything for him and my family. People change, and that's what really happened. Most people can't even imagine being in a relationship for a week, so I know it's beyond imagination. Cheating wasn't the problem. Larsa doubled down on her stance in an interview with Hollywood Raw, saying, It was definitely a respectable relationship. It was just like we were friends and we needed each other at that moment. And that was basically it. I think people make more of it for better conversation. A 2019 episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians solidified Larsa Pippen as a villain in a lot of people's eyes. She was one of a few friends invited by Kourtney and Khloe Kardashian on a girls' trip to Turks and Caicos and she spent the first part of the trip giving out mean girl vibes and pressuring Courtney to get back into the dating game. Larsa was so persistent that Courtney had to have a sit down with her to explain that she simply wasn't interested at the moment. I feel like sometimes like Larsa pressures me, but we're not in the same places in our lives. She didn't stop there though. Things hit a crescendo during a night out when Sarah Howard, Poosh COO, went to the bathroom and overheard a girl crying in the stall. Clearly moved by the encounter, Sarah came back to the group and suggested they offer the girl help. The suggestion sent Larsa into a tizzy, and though she claimed she didn't want to, quote, kill Courtney's vibe by getting involved in an unknown situation, she came off as cold and dismissive, and fans of the show were not pleased. Larsa was forced to defend herself, tweeting, I didn't mean to be dismissive to Sarah. I just didn't think we should be getting involved in any type of domestic situation when we're out of the country. Unfortunately, her rationale and subsequent apology failed to impress fans. After years of friendship and several cameos on Keeping Up With The Kardashians, Larsa Pippen's relationship with the famous family came to an abrupt end. The rift happened so discreetly that it became news after fans noticed the Kardashians were no longer following Pippen on social media and vice versa. Suspicions of drama between the two camps only grew stronger when Kanye West tweeted the word Larsa with no further explanation. Speaking with Hollywood Raw, Pippen alleged that West actually played a big role in the rift. As far as reconciling, Pippin corroborated E.T.'s source that there is no bad blood, but she won't be forcing the friendship if it makes West uncomfortable. When the Tristan Thompson and Jordan Woods scandal broke out in 2019, Larsa Pippen was quite vocal about how Woods should have handled the situation. Pippen told Hollywood Unlocked, If she would have just apologized, if she would have just went to Chloe's house, apologized, then none of this would have happened. But it's like, you want to go do public interviews, like I don't do public interviews because of that reason. Well, a little over a year later, in a public interview of her own, Pippin was singing like a canary to Hollywood Raw, revealing that she dated Thompson before he began dating the third Kardashian sister. She said on the podcast, I kinda was seeing Tristan before Chloe, before Chloe or any of them even knew he existed. I was seeing him, I had him come to LA, I brought him to a party Kim had, I introduced him to all of them and then a week later, maybe 10 days later, he started seeing Chloe. Considering the way Pippin and the Kardashian clan attacked her 
her after the infamous kissing incident, Woods was confused by the fact that she got blackballed for doing the same thing that Pippin and the Kardashians have been accused of, namely homewrecking. The 23-year-old model made a cryptic tweet on the same day as Pippin's Hollywood Raw appearance, saying simply, make it make sense. Larsa Pippen stirred the pot once more when she was seen holding hands with yet another baller, Minnesota Timberwolves player Malik Beasley. The catch? Beasley was still married to Montana Yao, with whom he shares a child. Pippen and Beasley were first sighted strolling hand-in-hand -in, -hand in a mall in Miami in November 2020. While all looked fine and dandy in the pics, chaos brewed as Yao found out about the relationship on social media with the rest of the world. Yao wrote on her Instagram stories, Wow, I don't even know this man. This is wild, y'all. I'm seeing it for the first time just like y'all. The truth always comes out one way or another. Yao reportedly filed for divorce from the 24-year-old basketball player almost immediately after the incident became public knowledge. Pippin found herself on the defensive again, claiming Beasley was no longer with Yao when they got together. Yao was quick to fact-check the former reality TV star, responding, This is 100% false. Continue to speak on my name and my relationship and we're going to have issues. Though Larsa Pippen seems relatively unflappable defending herself against tabloid fodder, her actions have also brought attention to her oldest son, Scotty Pippen Jr. As the Malik Beasley drama was unfolding, Scotty indirectly addressed the controversial relationship, tweeting, "...focused on myself and my goals. I'm not responsible for nobody's actions. All good over here." While there is still a ruckus surrounding his mother's love life, his coach at Vanderbilt University, Jerry Stackhouse, gave some insight on the 20-year-old basketball player's mentality on the court, and it seems the young player is well on his way to follow in his dad's footsteps. Stackhouse told the Tennessean, "...he's definitely playing like an all-league player, and possibly an all-American if he keeps it up." Lars's name was also attached to one more athlete, LeBron Bronny James Jr. According to Complex, the 16-year-old and reported BFF of Lars's son Preston simply liked one of Lars's pictures, and before we knew it, there was a story published by Black Sports Online claiming Bronny had gone as far as sliding into Lars's DMs. The story did not land well, considering the fact that Bronny is still a minor, and naturally elicited an angry response from his mom. Pippin also slammed Black Sports Online for fabricating the story and threatened to sue the publication. Four months after starting their relationship, Malik Beasley and Larsa Pippen went their separate ways in April 2021. A month after the news broke, the NBA baller decided to issue an apology to his wife, Montana Yao. The Minnesota Timberwolf claimed the rendezvous was a result of being unfocused. The Instagram apology said, "...I want to say sorry for putting you in the situation you were put in the last few months. My head wasn't where it was supposed to be. I was looking for more when it was right here that whole time." Yao acknowledged the apology, revealing she was glad it was done publicly so their son would one day look back and see his dad took accountability for his actions. It would have been nice if it ended there, but as with a lot of interactions on social media, what was supposed to be a moment of progress turned into fodder. Yao followed up the acknowledgement post with an Instagram story bashing Pippin by calling her, quote, desperate and thirsty. The outspoken returning star of The Real Housewives of Miami wasn't going to stay mum. She fired back with her own post, telling Yao, "...if you ever find another man who wants you for you and not all the free press I'm giving both of you, lock him down. Malik was a clout chaser who pursued me relentlessly before I even knew you existed, and I have all the DMs, but then again, he knows that." Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.